So have you heard the line from American Express, don't leave home without it? Well, if you do that when you pack for a 3,000-mile, three-month trip across the country, you're going to pack too much stuff. Hi, I'm Owen of Van Trekking Lifestyle, and we're glad you're with us. And today, we're going to share with you both the problem that we created when we packed too much stuff and how we resolved it even though we were 2,000 miles away from home. Now, a little history for those of you who don't know us. We travel around in a 19-foot Sprinter van that's not exactly known for being spacious or having a lot of storage. So when we pack for something like this, we have to just take the bare minimum. Well, this trip was complicated by the fact that the bare minimum needed to include four weeks down in Florida and the water and fun and warm weather we were going to have there and the cold weather we were going to have to experience in Texas before making it out to the desert and getting to 90 to 100 degree weather. You see, we had a lot of different variations of clothing that we had to stuff into the van and that caused an issue. Now we've been doing this for over 20 years and we consider ourselves to be pretty good at packing the van and using up every little nook and cranny. And that worked out well. We had enough stuff to make it through all those climates. But what we didn't have was enough room to buy a t-shirt from Big Ben or other knickknacks that we found along the way that you find when you're out traveling and you go, really, I want to get this. So as we began to accumulate even more stuff while we were rolling across the country, well, we started to have to step over things all the time. We'd find ourselves when we reached the destination having to move this and this and this back to another location just so we could have room to live in the van. And after about a month of this, we realized something was going to have to give and we were going to have to lighten our load. So we took everything we brought with us in the van and we made two piles out of it. Things we knew we were going to need for the remainder of the trip and things that we knew we could live without. Now that live without pile, that sucker got pretty big in a hurry. And we thought maybe we could just donate those things. But as we began to look at them, we knew we couldn't live without our solo stove for a long time and our cast iron pots and pans and boots and gloves and other things. It was going to be a pretty expensive thing to give away all those items. We certainly didn't want to throw them away. That only left us with one solution that we could come up with. And that was go to a UPS store and ship them all back home to our daughter and son-in-law and pick them back up when we got back to our home. So that left us on this day in Tucson, on a warm day out in the desert. So today has been um, chore day. Yeah, reorganization. We have a bunch of things right behind me back here that we're going to put in at least one, maybe two boxes and send back home because just extras and things we haven't used yet. And the, the fewer things you can keep with you in this little van, the easier it is to keep it organized. So maybe, uh, maybe we landed on something, but uh, head over to Walmart or Lowe's and get some bo packing boxes, pack all this up and then drop it by a UPS store or a post office. And, Let's lighten the load a little. You ready? I don't think that's a good idea. I don't know if I'll need some of those clothes I'm sending back. But I don't think I will. Let's go. Went into Lowe's, bought some heavy duty boxes. So we're sending back our solo stove. We use it a lot in Florida, but we've not been able to use it at all out west because there are fire bans everywhere. Yeah. Um, and it just takes up so much room in here. If we're not going to use it at least every other stop or so, then it makes no sense at all to keep it in the van. So, whew, that box is heavy. I don't know what the weight limit is at UPS, but. Maybe you should go in the van. <laughs> okay, so. I'm going to try to carry these things in. Yeah, I can carry it. Heavy. I asked her if there's a weight limit. She said, well, how, how heavy is it? I said, I should be able to carry it. She goes, that's below our weight limit. <laughs> okay, thank you. Shipping? Yes, just as cheap as we can get it. It doesn't matter how slow. Thank you very much. You have a great day. Thinking that's going to be a lot of money for <laughs> clearing up space in the van. I don't know. How much do you think it costs to ship that back? Two boxes. 
probably 70, 65. More. Higher than that. 80? Higher. Boy, it's not worth 80, is it? <laughs> no, I don't know. $177 to ship both boxes. Well, Should have kept it. Freed up a bunch of space in the back. And it, it does help us keep our sanity, not yeah. to have things so cluttered and yeah. having to move things around every time you... Touching things so much. Yeah. But yeah, that so, is a lot of money to ship it all the way back from uh, Arizona back to North Carolina. But, whew, man, it was heavy. <laughs> it was yeah, really it was heavy. heavy. My little box was really well, heavy. Uh, yeah, so... Alrighty. So what lessons did we learn? Well, first, just because you've been doing this for 20 years doesn't mean that you won't pack too much. And just because you pack something for a long RV or van trip, well, that doesn't mean that it has to ride with you for the entire trip. It can ride back home in the back of a UPS truck and be waiting for you when you get there. So that's how we solved what happened to us when we fell for the line, don't leave home without it, and we packed way too much. Leave us a comment down below and let us know what you've taken on trips that you wish you hadn't taken and how you handled that. And if you find these kind of honest solutions to problems while traveling videos helpful, give us a thumbs up. Think about subscribing. Speaking of solutions, here's a video about how we actually pack our van. Until we see you again, happy tales.